Hey everyone, I'm Henry Allo and welcome back to another Movie React. Today we're going to be reacting to a movie called A Silent Voice by Yoshitoki Oima. This movie has been in my list for a long time. And by a long time, I mean uh, it's 2022 now, so I think it's been in my list for 6 or 7 years. <laughs> I've read the manga before, A Silent Voice, but I think it was incomplete because I completely can't remember the ending. All I remember was uh, the boy was bullying the girl and the boy got bullied back. And when he grew up, I think they met or something like that. I'm pretty sure the novel wasn't complete when I read it and I left it and completely forgot about it. And then one day, uh, about a few years later, I saw a trailer about this movie called A Silent Voice. And I was thinking, wait, this looks so familiar. Why does it seem like something I've seen before? But I'm sure I've never seen it before because the movie wasn't even out yet at the time. And it was then that I realized, wait, it's so familiar. It seems the same as the manga that I read. And yes, it actually was. So I was planning to watch it. That was back in, what, 2016, I think. And it's early 2022. How time flies, right? So finally, I'm going to watch A Silent Voice. The last movie I reacted to was The Green Mile. It was a great movie. It was amazing. And I'm pretty sure in this one, I'm going to cry too. Probably. So I should prepare some tissues. Let me just get that ready. Okay, so I've got my tissues ready. And... Let's get into it because anime films, you know, they are another level of amazing. You know, my favorite ones would be like Spirited Away, Wolf Children, and etc. etc. There's so many amazing anime movies, and Spirited Away is just one of my top three. You know, I've watched over seven times. I'm pretty sure this is also going to be another one that's going to be added to my top 10 at least. So let's get right into it. Wait, is he already grown up? I don't think that's where the manga started. Oh, what is he doing? No. When someone does all that, there's a possibility it means he's going to end his life. Nah, I don't think so. Oh my god, he's gonna do it! Oh. See, fireworks save your life. But why do you want to kill yourself? It's like an opening to an anime episode. Cool. Now oh, we've all done that. <laughs> Just pressing out the lead, putting it back in. Or, you know, putting it on your finger, like you just stick it in there and it's, it just seems like it's in your finger standing. Tell me you haven't done that. Do kids nowadays even have mechanical pencils? I don't even know. <laughs> that was an octopus in space. I don't think it was ever explained in a manga why she was deaf. Was it due to an accident or was she born? that way. That's rude. Oh, but it's not like she can hear him, but still rude. It's not easy, is it? I mean, trying to learn in a normal school while being deaf because you need to understand what a teacher is saying. And the teacher doesn't even seem to, like he doesn't even bother that there's a deaf kid in class. Aren't there schools in Japan that uh, would be better for her? She should go to a school that would understand her problems and actually teach her in a way that she will understand better. Is he a teacher doesn't even care. The teacher is just rambling on talking about whatever he wants and he, he doesn't even bother about the girl that isn't keeping up. Hey guys, I'm editing this video and I noticed Nishimiya doing the double tap on the table. 
Did you know that in some parts of Chinese culture, when someone pours tea for you, instead of saying thank you, or if it's not convenient to say it out loud, you tap twice on a table to express your thanks. Now there's an origin to this gesture, there's actually a story associated with it, but I'm not going to tell the story now. What I'm interested to know, if you're familiar with the Japanese culture, please let me know if the Japanese people do the same thing. Do they tap twice on the table to express thanks for something or to express uh, thanks for pouring their drink or is it something that's related to sign language? So let me know in the comments. Thanks. And it's really kind that the, the girl is willing to help her. Do they actually expect her to follow a music class? I mean, it's not impossible. Uh, Mozart was deaf, but he was able to listen to begin with. I get, I got that right, right? Mozart was deaf, right? Was it Mozart? I hope I got the right person. She should go to a school where she can be with people who are more understanding of her situation and who can really communicate with her through sign language or stuff like that. It'll be such a much more better environment for her. Me, you, friends. Yeah, I know Tomodachi means friends, so she wants to be friends with him. Don't do that. I mean, she just wants to be friends. Could I just said yes. Oh, at least this, this teacher is nice. But three minutes every morning, is that even enough? I mean, sign language is a whole language by itself. I don't know how to speak sign language, but I'm pretty sure three minutes every morning isn't enough. Why do you have to say that? Earlier I thought she was nice to help her, but now, not so much. I don't like her so much now. So she stopped coming to school because she couldn't handle the pressure. <sighs> when will bullying ever be resolved? Probably never. They are all in on it anyway. I mean, I really... What most people don't understand is children have a low self-esteem because they're still trying to build their own image. They're still trying to build their own self. As adults, we feel like, oh, it's a kid's fight or it's just teasing between kids. For kids, it's not the same because to them, even a small little remark could hurt their already fragile self-esteem. So encourage your child. Your child needs help building confidence. Your child needs encouraging words. Your child needs support and be there for them. Sometimes they just need someone to talk to. They just need someone to acknowledge them for who they are. There, there's barely any communication between parent and child nowadays because parents are so busy with their work, they're so busy doing what they want to do, looking at their phone, their computers, and the child just wants someone to spend time with. So if you won't spend time with your child, your child's gonna spend time with his or her friends, and he will be influenced by his friends. You don't know what he's exposed to out there. So you have to build a foundation for him so he knows what's right and what's wrong. Kids aren't born with common sense. Common sense is learned. Tell your child you'll be there for them. No, don't tell your child. Show your child you'll be there for them. And actually be there. Now, I probably don't have the right to talk about this because I don't have my own child. But if I do have a child, I'll do everything within my power to take care of him or her. Because when you have a child, it's a commitment. It's your responsibility. You have brought your child to this world. Well, take care of him. <laughs> Don't show her. She's 
She's in a really toxic environment. Doesn't she tell her parents? Or shouldn't someone have realized this and just have her transfer school because this is not the right place to be? And probably another point is she probably doesn't even tell her parents. I mean, I'm not sure if she has parents, but she probably doesn't even tell her parents she's being bullied at school. It's not like his friends ever tried to stop him. And even after all this, she still wants to be friends. Can you see the resiliency in this girl? You know, he's also being influenced by his friends because a lot of times he listens to what his friends' opinions are. So when his friends say, oh, it's because of her, I couldn't finish my homework or I, I missed out on what the teacher is saying or it's because of her that uh, this is happening or it's because of her that she's bringing this problem to us. So he's actually listening and being affected, being influenced by what his friends are saying. So I don't think it's 100% his fault, but it's really peer pressure. The only thing is he actually went and started bullying her because of that, which is not right. That doesn't give you an excuse to do so. <laughs> Eight hearing aids. I don't think hearing aids are cheap. And eight were damaged in five months? And a teacher doesn't even care. I mean, this teacher is probably their homeroom teacher. He doesn't even care about her. And that's the point where you realize who your friends are. Or in this case, he had no friends. Now, I'm not going to say whether something is right or wrong, but there are consequences for actions. And this is something that's probably going to be completely off topic, but I just realized the, the band-aid on the back of his neck has been peeling off since... I don't know, since the start of school until now, it's still there. Like, why hasn't it peeled off yet? I don't know why I noticed such a little detail at this moment, but seriously, that band-aid is starting to really get to me. If you want to peel it off, just peel it off. What are you covering? See what I mean? Kids don't tell their parents when they're being bullied at school. Even as a child, I don't tell my parents everything. So maybe I can understand why they don't want their parents to worry or they just don't want to get in trouble with their parents. It's tough being a parent, isn't it? Moms and dads out there, I respect you. I really do because it's not easy to take care of a child, to build a good relationship with him, to have good communication with him, and to teach him the right things, the common sense, the difference between right and wrong, black and white. I know it's not easy, so I respect you for being a mom and dad, and I respect you for doing your best to raise your child. Wait, what happened to her ear? Was that blood by her ear? What exactly happened? Like, she, did she get slapped? Or did, did Nishimiya's mother do to Shoya's mother what Shoya did to Nishimiya? Now he's been bullied in return and he still wants to be friends with them? And now he knows. She's actually helping him. And I think it's because previously when he wrote those bad... Uh, it, he wrote that Sahara-san left the school because of her and he wiped it off. She thought he was helping her. It was a misunderstanding, but I think because of that, she's now helping him to wipe off the bad words at his desk. Let me guess. Nishimiya, wasn't it? It was Nishimiya who was in charge of taking care of the flowers. She was the one in charge of submitting the class journal and doing all these stuff. So you see, you don't appreciate something until it's gone. You don't appreciate someone until it's gone. They don't even know what Nishimiya was doing for them. And they still treated her coldly and bullied her. It was just not right. Oh, and we're back to the present. Oh, he studied sign language. 
Ooh, that's her. Oh, he almost didn't see her. Are you kidding me? I think she probably said you learn sign language? Why are there no subtitles for sign language? The band-aid is still at the back of his neck. Is that the band-aid or is that like the tag of his shirt? If so, has he been wearing the same shirt since elementary school? Oh, anime food always looks so delicious. If you've watched Howl's Moving Castle, my god, the eggs there, I want to eat them. Makes me hungry just looking at it. Man, I want some of that. Oh, oh he was paying her back for uh, the money that his mom gave to Nishimiya's mom. Oh, well, at least he remembers the debt that he owes. Oh, she noticed the signs. Like I did. Like, because if you do all that, I mean, you're probably thinking about it. Oh! How much is 1.7 million yen? That's probably a lot. That's probably a lot. Imagine if that was 1.7 million dollars. I knew it. I knew it. His mom was bleeding that day. So she got her earring torn off. My god. It's gonna burn. It's oh my god. Don't put it on the pot. They put it on a hot plate. It's too late. It's gone. It's gone. That's so sad. 1.7 million yen that he worked so hard to earn, it's all burned out. Why? All those efforts burn the ashes. Yep. Karma. What about now though, now that you've changed schools? I mean, grown up, is it better? Are you still being bullied? Oh, I get his perspective. He's... He's not even looking at people in the eye now. Yeah, because he doesn't dare, he doesn't trust people anymore. So he just looks down at the ground while he walks, hoping not to attract attention. I know that feeling. I, I do that. I used to do that. Like, just stare at the ground. I don't want to catch anyone's attention. Just keeping to myself. Well, for me, it's the life of an introvert. I like how they're doing this because you see that Anything above the chest level is just blur. He doesn't even pay attention to it. All he just is stares at the ground and he sees their uh, feet, their legs and all that. But when he looks up, he just doesn't really notice faces because maybe he either doesn't trust anyone anymore or he doesn't want to communicate with people. There, see? Axis. Axis on every face. It's trauma. As a child, he was traumatized by his friends, by those experiences he did. It traumatized him. I'm pretty sure the guy that just got up from the seat behind him, the guy with the green hair, is gonna be a character that's probably gonna be important later on because he's so special. <laughs> he actually stands out from the crowd. You see, he's not even looking at her face. It's like, He's not, he's not even looking at her eyes. Oh, he can read? Rip, he can read lips now? That's cool. Oh, no, wait. He isn't reading lips. It's, it's his mind playing tricks on him, thinking that people are out to get him, thinking that uh, people are always talking about him. If you feel that way, well, it's not entirely true. You know, people think about you less than you think about yourself. So don't be bothered with what others are saying. Just live your life on your own terms. Be who you are, live your own life. Don't care what others think. Mama. So his own mind has become his enemy. Always thinking negative thoughts. And this is also uh, 
a kind of symptom, I guess, a symptom of low self-esteem. Like his self-esteem has been hit so low that he's just thinking about negative stuff. He's thinking he's not worth it. You know, he's thinking that everyone else thinks about him negatively. And I've suffered from that before. I have suffered from low self-esteem before, so I understand how it feels. And it's really hard to break yourself out of that mindset, but it's not impossible. It can be done. And though he was a bully in elementary school, I do hope that he breaks out of this uh, cycle. He needs... He needs to break through from within. So they did burn the money. Oh, all that effort. Yeah, that was obvious, wasn't it? Oh, she has a friend defending her. That's a good friend. A rat. Oh, he found his bike for him. Oh, that's so sweet. Like, he actually went to get his bike back. <laughs> so he recognizes him as a friend. That's why the X fell off. Wait, but but just now, when Nishimiya-kun's friend was kind of rejecting him, telling him that Nishimiya wasn't there, he was able to see her face though. Was that any different? He's just really happy to have a friend. Yeah, that's true. Oh, oh wow, he dropped his bread. What? I was so surprised for a moment. I thought he actually grabbed her, but it was his friend. It was Nagatsuka. Anyway, isn't it obvious that she's not a boy? She's a girl. Oh, that burns. Look at his face. Huh? <laughs> Look at his face. He got roasted. And suddenly these two are so close together. Look at him. Eh,君も僕が君に会う理由。私も同じこと考えてた。<laughs> Ah, oh, so she feels the same way. Oh, don't. Why are you jumping down? Of course he jumps. You jump, I jump. That's the amazing thing about anime. The water looks so clean. And look at this shot. It looks like real water. Like they used... An actual picture of a real place and then just turned it into an animation, I think. I like this artwork. Nishimiya! That book has seen better days. It's been dropped in the water how many times now? Now you got him in trouble. That's not nice. Yeah, who is Maria anyway? Who is that little kid? Are they living together with someone? Because I remember at the beginning, someone who was probably uh, Maria's mother, you know, like left for work or something. And until now, we've never seen her at all. So who is Maria? Who is her mother? Why are they living together? <laughs> He still thinks she's a boyfriend. Oh, it's his sister's kid. Okay, so his sister had a kid and is still staying with them. So her boyfriend ran away, I guess. Or maybe they broke up after having a kid. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> like the moment she fainted, he was walking away and then boom, he's here like lightning speed. That looks delicious. I want some of that. I need subtitles. What does all of that mean? Someone help me translate that. Thank you. <laughs> it looks so funny. She's holding it. And he's like, his head is barely in there. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, they live together. Just because of that? Using her shampoo without her permission and got kicked out of the house? That is... That is really strict. You, yeah. you can share. See, see, you see, know, this is language. Uh, most of the time it says like I'm to be blamed, like I'm the one at fault. And at this point, I finally realized the thing in the back of his neck isn't a band-aid. It's actually the tag from his shirt. So I guess he's been wearing the same shirt since elementary school. Or he likes to buy shirts that has the tags hanging out. Let me guess what that means. This doesn't mean lover, right? So, little sister? Or just neighbor? Her daughter? No, of course not. <laughs> what am I kidding? Little sister, I'm guessing I'm gonna go with little sister. Uh -huh. Got it right. I can feel a slap coming on. She's gonna slap him. Called it. <laughs> Dude, he flew like 20 meters back. Like, the moment he knew that his hands just whoop and then boom, he just went. Like, he just flew away. Right, he couldn't exchange contacts with her before because he he was planning to, you know, end it. So he cut off everything, including his phone. That's why his mom mentioned his phone was out of service because he probably cancelled his plan, threw away his phone and stuff. Probably sold his phone. Oh, I know that word, shogaku, which means elementary school. And what was the next one? Ryugaku, which means high school? Shogaku, Ryugaku, and there's another one. Never mind, I can't, can't remember. Is that her? She looks so different from when she was in elementary school. I mean, Ishida-kun looks almost the same, basically the same. He just grew taller. And uh, Nishimiya couldn't just let her hair grow longer. But basically they look kind of the same. But Sahara, she she got a new look. Well, I guess it was a bit awkward to sit there. <laughs> I bet that's now Chan. That's now, isn't she? I knew it. Oh, Ueno. Okay, not now. My bad, I got her name wrong. <laughs> Wait, what were they expecting? I think I have an idea what they were expecting. But hey, the kids are cute. No, what happened now? Is it her grandma or her? It's bad news, isn't it? Oh my god, what's happening now? Is it that she'll never be able to hear again even with the hearing aids? Nishiyama is actually a really strong girl. She's really resilient because even in the face of bad news, she smiles and even while being bullied, she smiles and tries to make friends with Ishida-kun while he was bullying her. And you're still as stuck up as you are. Why would you still do that? How old are you? Still doing these kind of things to other people. That's... Grow up. You're better off just cutting off ties with her. Completely. She's toxic. So you're saying that Yuzuru is lying, she only wants to eat it herself. That's what I read. <laughs> well, he was direct. Like, you could have just put it a little bit softer, like softer than impact a bit. He just went directly, yes, your voice is strange. 
What are these? Wait, is she trying to say Daisuki? Or is it Daisuki? Is she trying to say Suki? Suki means like in Japanese, I think. So... Does Daisuki means love? Mean love? Oh my god, I can't remember. My Japanese is just... Suki means like. Okay, but what does love mean? I don't know, but I think she, that's what she's trying to say here. She's trying to say she likes him. Use sign language. Suki. Moon. In what context would moon make sense in this sentence? That's obviously not what she meant. Get a clue, bro. Oh. You made her cry. It's not a moon. I knew it, that's what she said. I think it's pretty obvious. She's trying to grab the attention of this guy in the red hair. Oh, now she has an X over her face because he doesn't acknowledge her as a friend. Why is Ueno here? I feel like she just wants to sabotage Nishimiya. Or just make fun of her again. She has no business being here. Makes me want to sit on a roller coaster. The last time I was on a roller coaster was like three or four years ago i think man i should get on a roller coaster again Ooh, yeah enjoy the ride looks so fun oh of course you can what was she expecting to happen exactly that they make up and become friends again you had a quarrel with Sahara because you were the one who decided you didn't want to be friends with her. It had nothing to do with Nishimiya. You could have changed your attitude. Huh? Don't let that happen. Wait, why are they even letting them ride together? I mean, I'm pretty sure you can seat more than two people in a ferris wheel. So Ishida should go along. Or at least her little sister should go along. But she's pretty smart. I'm pretty sure she put a camera on her to record what's happening. And we're gonna see Ueno's true colors. Because Ueno is hating on Nishimiya for no reason at all. I mean, you can't control whether Nishimiya visits your school or transfers to your school. But you can control her attitude towards her. Change yourself before you try to change others. <laughs> Your view is still narrow now. Did she say she hates herself? <laughs> what the heck was that about? You know, the past is repeating itself. I mean, why would she have to say it so loud and tell everybody about it? She loves to displace the blame to other people. Uh, this kawaii-san. I mean, when people talk about her or try to blame her for something, she just throws the dirt on others and tries to blame others to make herself look innocent or look better. <sighs> I, I don't know about this. Like... <laughs> Not directly. He was never blaming you from the beginning. He was just asking you whether you were spreading stories about the past. That's all. <laughs> Basically, no one has changed. They've just gotten older. They grew up, but nothing has changed. And it's true in real life too, isn't it? Because sometimes we grow older, our age increases. Yeah, sure, but we're still the same deep down inside. If nothing major uh, happens in our lives, or if we don't take action to change ourselves from within, then we're still the same as we were 10 years ago or 20 years ago, 30 years ago. So the hardest part sometimes is learning to just let go and move on or to accept the past as part of yourself and then look forwards, move onwards. Don't let yourself be tied to the past. Bueno. 
何でもかんでも決めつけんなよさあらやめろどうせまた逃げて後悔すんだろう弱虫だって<笑>かわいい昔からお前は自分がかわいいだけなんだよ What he says about them is true He knows them better than they know themselves だって自分のことはちっとも知ろうとしないんだから That's true We just pretend not to see that? Oh, he's finally standing up for himself. I mean, not standing up for himself, but he's finally being more assertive. He's always been so passive、uh, after he grew up, but now he's more assertive. It's good. Her grandma died. Well, why would she wear her school uniform there, though? Because she doesn't want her grandma to worry about her? Like she's showing her grandma that she's gonna go to school. Wow, look at that. Ooh, are they visiting some tourist spots? It's really beautiful and amazing、uh, when they do this kind of thing in anime because in the real world, these kind of places will probably be crowded with people, like crowded with tourists or you know, just people visiting. And in anime, they draw it out and you can see it empty. Like、there's no one there. And it's beautiful. That's ridiculous. What, really? The person who made Nishimiya unhappy was him? I don't think that's how Nishimiya feels. That's just what you think. I feel like he's trying to do too much. He's not being himself. <laughs> she may kill you, she's gonna kill him. Like, you make my birthday cake, I'm gonna choke you with it. Yo, he's, <laughs> he's sweating bullets. Look at him. Nervous as heck. Oh, at least his mom is. I mean, at least her mom is okay with him now. Kind of. Like, she's not gonna slap him when she sees him or kill him. Yuzuru is still wearing the shoes he gave her. It goes to show you that no matter what kind of person you are, we all live under the same sky. I mean, everyone is seeing the same fireworks. <laughs> no, no facial expressions. She wants to go study? Wait, what about, what about her mom and her little sister? Like, you're just gonna leave and go start studying without your mom and your sister following you? Like, you, you, you've worn your kimono, I think it's called a kimono, and you've come here looking at the fireworks and you decide to study. What are the exams so important now? I mean, they are important, but you can enjoy the night first, right? Oh no, something's gonna happen here. No! Stop her! What are you doing taking off your shoes? You don't need to take off your shoes anymore. Just go! What are you waiting for? Grab her! Oh my god. He got her right. He caught her right. Oh, he got her! Swing her to the bottom balcony. Swing her to the bottom. Minnano Kawo, Chanto Mimas, Astagara. Minnano Koimo, Chanto Kikimas. Swing her down. Swing her down. There's another balcony there. Oh, thank God. She's. Oh, shit. Did he really fall into the water? So he's okay. すみませんでした。やめてください。石田はうちのバカ姉ちゃんを助けてくれたんです。翔子さん。Oh, So even as a child, she 
told her little sister she wants to uh, end her life? She's standing right there. You will change from now on, Sahara-san. That's why I think she said. よ。そのあとのことと not right. Oh, I mean, I hope I'm translating that right. If you would call that a translation. So basically, he misunderstood her thinking that because of meeting her again and hanging out with her again it made her unhappy and that's why she chose to jump but she's telling her that that's not correct that she is the one to be blamed and that things would have been better if she went away <sighs> that's not true Aww. He's being too self-conscious. She feels the same way. Oh, it was them, his previous friends who saved him. What a coincidence that they were there. The two people, his two friends in elementary school. Hirose is the, the other friend, right? Oh. How the world comes round, or maybe it's just a really small world. Arigato. <laughs> oh, wait, this is his sister's boyfriend. Wait, so they've been together for a really long time because he was already there when, when Ishida was still in elementary school. Wow. Ishida. Huh? Whoa, <laughs> it's the same words but completely different reaction. It's like, oh my, that's amazing! And then, oh my, like, just four marks. <laughs> Yo, that smile looks so forced. Look at his face. Exactly, such things will happen. When it happens, it happens. Just don't live in the past forever. Oh, she learned sign language. At least she's putting in the effort. Do you think he'll meet Shimada and Hirose again, like his previous two friends? He broke through. See, this is the only change that you can do for yourself. Because people can help, but only he himself could have changed. And I'm getting a bit teary-eyed for some reason. It's great. He finally decided to open his eyes and open his ears and really see the world as it is. Now, instead of ignoring or just running away. Now, I can, I can kind of understand... Uh, a little bit of what is going through because previously many years ago I also had low self-esteem and it took me a lot of time and effort to really break out of my shell to really just feel that hey it's actually okay to just turn to the person beside you and say hello make a friend like it wasn't easy but you know I I'm glad I did it and I'm happy for him. I'm happy for Ishida kun that he has also decided to open his heart again after all he went through. And they still don't show his sister's face. Why? Yeah, because when you open your eyes to the things around you, you, you realize there's so much you've missed. 
Ah, that's got me teary-eyed a little bit. Ah, <laughs> oh, the music is good. So guys, we have reached the end of A Silent Voice. Yes, it is a really good movie and it's really focused on talking about breaking through from within. You know that even though you've gone through so much, you have hurt so much, you've gone through so much pain, you can break through. And it also shows that people can change. You know, as we saw in Ueno's case, Kawaii's case, like sometimes, yes, you're going to have trouble and sometimes you're going to disagree on things. And sometimes someone can be so stuck up and just so hateful, but they can change if they choose to. And you can change if you choose to break through from within. If you choose to realize that, you know, there's something that needs to be changed or there's something that you want to break through, you want to improve on, you can do it. It can be done. And this movie, I feel, is trying to talk about that. Also, for Ishida-kun, uh, since elementary school, he has been bullied, though of course he bullied Nishimiya first. And, but after that, he got bullied himself and he got traumatized and start, started not trusting people, not trusting his friends and the people around him and now he broke out of his shell with the help of his friends with the help of Nishimiya he started opening his heart again to see people to hear the things around him and it's beautiful and Nishimiya is another character which really shows her resiliency because even since she was in elementary school she is a strong girl you know she understood that not being able to hear isolates her from the rest, but she still keeps a smile on her face, you know, and tries to be positive for the sake of her family and for the sake of herself. Outside, she shows her, her smile and shows that she's okay, but inside she's actually hurting. She is blaming herself for things, feeling that it's better if she, she's not here, feeling that it's better if she doesn't exist or if she goes away, but that's not true. And if you feel that way too, then just let me tell you, you do matter. If you ever feel like it'll be better if you're not here, it'll be better if you don't exist, well, let me tell you now, you do matter. There is a difference. You do make a difference. There are people who love you. Open your heart and open your mind. There are people who love you and you do make a difference. You know, many years ago, I also had low self-esteem as in I would just eat, sleep, study, bathe. Like it's just the same routine day and day again. And I felt like, well, what's the point of existing? Like what's, is there really a point to it? Or, you know, I felt like there would be no difference even if I wasn't here on this earth. But I found out that it isn't true. I can live the life that I want and I can make new friends. And once you get to know people, the people who really do care about you and the people you care about, you start to realize that there are so many beautiful people in this world. You know, there are so many people that you can get in touch with, you can communicate with, people you can talk to, people you can share your feelings with. And that's when you realize that, wow, life is beautiful i've missed out so much but it's never too late to open your heart today now this world is worth knowing this there are many people that are worth knowing and perhaps they're just waiting for you on days that you don't believe in yourself then know that there are people who do believe in you i believe in you it's only when you keep putting one foot in front of the other that you can move out of whatever dark place you're in now, and move towards the light. It, all it takes is one step at a time. Just keep moving. You'll find your light. You'll find your rainbow. Trust me. Now, A Silent Voice this is a beautiful movie. I loved it. I mean, anime movies have a way of really 
bring you uh, into Japan mostly, bring you into Japan, bring you into the world, bring you into the characters, and let's not forget the beautiful scenery, the soundtrack. They they do, I mean, they do a good job on that. If you know about other amazing anime movies like this, then write it in the comments. I'll add them to my movies list. Now I have already watched Spirited Away, Wolf Children, House Moving Castle, uh, and a few other animes before, but write it down in the comments anyway so I can put it on my list and you know watch it sometime in the future. If you like my movie react then subscribe and let's go on this journey together. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.